couple of months ago I was asked to do a Pluto video and I have promised in many Argo videos since then that I will get around to doing it. I have finally spent the time after having a few days off to doing this video. So without further ado, let's go. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to Bio Cell. I hope of course you are all well. Today's video is about Pluto. I promised that I would bring this video at a high level so people understand what the partnership is with Argo Blockchain and what Pluto is about. I will also talk about WonderFi as it is in the same vein of investment from Argo Blockchain. There's a lot to get through and try and compact into 10 minutes. So we'll just get stuck straight in. Cryptocurrency is getting huge getting bigger it's on popular culture now you're seeing ETFs being set up this week only to do with crypto mining it is taking over the world there's no doubt about it and within that you've got uh, NFTs and we'll get into that in a moment but I think you need to understand, understand the simple term of decentralized finance if we go on to the Financial Times which is obviously a major outlet for financial information they even have their own decentralized finance section so you can go in and read all about all the different types of news articles decentralized finance as it's known as is DeFi and the simplest way to explain it is this traditionally if you want to borrow say 10,000 US dollars you need some assets or money already in the bank as collateral a bank employee reviews your finances and the lender sets an interest rate for your repayment of your loan the bank gives you the money out of its pool of deposits collects your interest payments and sees your collateral if you fail to repay everything depends on the bank and it sits in the middle of the process and controls your money the same is true of stock trading asset management insurance basically every form of financial services today even when a financial technology app such as Robinhood automates the process, banks still occupy the same intermediate role. That raises the cost of credit and limits the borrow flexibility. DeFi turns this arrangement on its head by reconceiving financial services as decentralized software applications that operate without ever taking custody of user funds. Want a loan? You get one instantly by simply putting cryptocurrency up as collateral. This creates a smart contract that finds your money from other people who made a pool of funds available on the blockchain. No bank loan officer necessary. Everything runs on so-called stable coins, which are currency-like tokens typically pegged to the US dollar to avoid the volatility of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and transactions settle automatically on a blockchain, essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is distributed across a network of computers rather than through a bank. At the recent peak in May 2020, over 80 billion worth of cryptocurrencies were locked in the DeFi contracts, up from a less than 1 billion a year earlier. Total value of the market was 69 billion as of August the 3rd, 2021. So you can see there, that's a hell of an uptake. And it's not surprising because if crypto is getting bigger, the likes of these things spawning off it are only going to get bigger as well. And if it goes on to say here, the 20 trillion global financial sector, which suggests there's plenty of room for more growth. Now, where does Argo come into this? Well, let's have a look. Again, there's many articles. This article came out in June. Argo Blockchain unveils DeFi investment. Argo said it has invested 146,000 pounds in WonderFi Technologies Inc, a firm focused on bringing DeFi technology to the masses. As part of the investment, Argo's chief executive will also be appointed as an unpaid advisor in WonderFi. So what is WonderFi? Go onto their website, very slick, I have to say that, very slick. I love the, the, the young impressions here, everyone's on LinkedIn. So they have a small investment in WonderFi. I'm not going to speak too much about WonderFi, I just want to put it on people's radar that they're also invested in that. We're going to mostly talk about Pluto in this video because they're in a similar space, it's just another investment in that space and we'll get into Pluto and that should really kind of link into what WonderFi is but of course you must do your own due diligence go in check out their website check out their investor pages all of the media plenty of information there it's a very slick website so if you type in Pluto or go blockchain in the Google, it'll bring up a lot of different news articles. But if you go on the coin desk, it'll sum it up for us. Argo Blockchain takes a 25% stake in a $40 million crypto VC fund. The public listed Bitcoin miner is investing 10 million in Pluto assets. In announcement Wednesday, Pluto said it is now $50 million in assets under management after launching earlier this year. Argo Blockchain will be maintaining a 25% stake in the new fund with an investment of $10 million. They said they will use the funds for incubating projects, taking an equity position on holding strategic and treasury positions in digital assets the firm said and then Pluto has a slick website and you can even see this article here 
Um, from February 4th, Pluto welcomes Argo aboard the rocket ship. And again, what I'll say is the rocket ship, Pluto universe, obviously very much on trend, very good at marketing that side of things. People love the rockets. It's it's pretty much what stocks and especially cryptocurrency is all about. A bit more meat on the bones. Our team has known each other for a long time and Pluto founders have been long-term shareholders and supporters of Argo since before their UK listing in 2018. Now, a big part of what Pluto do is NFTs. And here is a snippet of a video that I think you should all go and watch if you're interested in this partnership further. It's a 30 minute interview with Peter asking questions to Blake from Pluto. Let's just start the basics and then kind of get more complicated from there. NFTs are really hot right now. Everyone's talking about NFTs. It's one part of what, what Pluto is doing among many things. Um, but but what is an NFT for people who, who are not familiar with the term? Yeah, so basically an NFT, a non-fungible token, that's what the acronym stands for. The way I like to begin, um, if someone does ask me that, I like explaining it as, so NFTs are representations of verifiable ownership of unique digital items. That, that's kind of where we can begin. We can dig in, but that's the general um, idea of, of them. I, I like to think of like uh, like a like a hockey card. You, can't, you know, we're Canadian, both of us, right? Yes. So I think of like a hockey card, but it's like a digital hockey card. Like there's, you know, you come out with a hockey card, there's only one of them. And NFT is basically like, there can be one, there can be 50. They, they set how many there's going to be. But essentially it's the same kind of thing. It's a collectible, but instead of tracking it as an analog real thing, you track it on the blockchain as a digital something or other. Sophie, that answers what an NFT is in a nutshell. I think that's important to remember because that's a big part of what Pluto do. So if we go back to their website, it's a slick website, rockets, all that, it's very much on trend. With it being so high tech and stuff, you would expect them to be on all socials. They are, you can go on their YouTube channel, there's many different videos giving you again, introduction to the team, introduction to the types of things that they're doing. So it's a high level summary. I appreciate that I can't get all this in in a 10 minute video, but there is a lot um, of information here. And it goes back to what the kind of I was saying at the start of the video, what DeFi means and what they're trying to do. You can see all the different types of ventures that they're on. There's a lot of fingers in pies and that is what they're ultimately all about. You can go on, you can check, check the team out just like WonderFi. They've all got their pictures, they're all in space suits. Um, all their LinkedIn profiles, you can go in and check. And what I like here is out Peter Wall. He's in a space suit, he's gone and he's a Starfleet chairman of advisory um, excellence. So. He is also heavily invested in this, and rightly so, with 25% stake, that is significant. Go to their news section, plenty of information here, all about what they're doing. You can see it's just a constant play on space travel, which is quite cool. Two and a half months into our journey, Pluto has already been one incredible ride. We've orbited the moon and raised funds, investing, incubating only the most enterprising projects as, as we make our way onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards, it's an interesting saying, Peter Wall, eh? Wonder did he have input into that? We are proud to announce that the NFTs, non-fungible tokens, are on board. So that is what I've explained. And that's, for me, is probably the most exciting area of what Pluto do. September 30th, so less than a month ago, we had this. Pluto Digital PLC takes over the Yup DeFi project. Pluto intends to reimagine, redevelop and relaunch the Yup platform and to support the existing protocol community and Yup token. And that's just one area of this. I would expect that Pluto will continue to do this kind of thing. I said they were going to have a fingers in a lot of different pies and continue trying to grow that portfolio. Crypto investment firms, Pluto Digital Assets, Plots, IPO and Aquas. Okay, this came out on April 19th. Executives from Argo Blockchain, the listed crypto miner, have already helped take several crypto investment firms public. Pluto Digital Assets, an investment firm focused on decentralized technologies, is planning a stock market flotation on Aquis Stock Exchange in London. Peter Wall, CEO of Argo and director of Pluto, confirmed that Pluto is rocketing to its IPO on the London Aquis Exchange with a table late May 2021 for its admission. I appreciate that is a hell of a lot of information, a lot of reading now to try not to do as much as that. So hopefully that you give us a find that informative. The last bit there was May for listing. There hasn't been a listing and we are definitely doing an update on Pluto now. From reading forums and Twitter, it would seem that they've maybe taken a step back um, and it could be possibly a good thing. It could be that they don't want to list on Aquis and they want to do it an other way. I'm not going to deal in the whole rumor and innuendo, but there's a lot of people speculating that perhaps they're, they're pulling it back from that and they're going to look to explore other options. Whether that's a good thing or maybe there's been an issue, I'm going to say it's more of a good thing and they're looking at the different options that are available to them. So we are definitely due an update and we should get an update soon. It's been a long time, but you have to understand two different things here. It's an investment in Pluto. This is not up to Argo blockchain to necessarily give us huge updates from time to time. It is not their business. They are invested in it. 
but it's not something that they will be too, making too much comment on. Yes, Peter Wall is involved as a director and a consultant, if you want to say that, but it is not Argo blockchain. They don't make the official decisions and you should not confuse the two things. So watch this space. What I will say is I don't believe that this investment will be priced in to the share price. I think that this could be a potentially a great acquisition just with Wonderfy as well. I think these things are only going to get bigger as we talked about just the general feeling out there and you can imagine where this could be in one year, two, three, four years time. You can see why it's growing from strength to strength. But what I will say is perhaps that this has hurt the share price more so than anything and that's for lack of a better word they have had to invest in them so that's a loan that's a lot of money out and they're not going to be getting anything back and there's never any guarantees in an investment now i'm confident enough from what we've talked about there that it has been growing but you don't know yet until it gets bigger so it is an investment it's an outlay initially we're taking out loans for taxes and your people will be saying well why couldn't i've used that money for this but I don't mind that. A lot of the big companies, again, just to strip things back to the biggest companies in the world, Apple are taking out loans right now because interest rates are, are low. Taking out loans and having debt and interest isn't a bad thing if it's used in the right way. Getting in early with the likes of this acquisition could be paying dividends and any sort of loans that we're paying potentially on the Texas side, the Galaxy or whatever, could actually be better off paying those kind of debts because of this growth that we're going to get. So you have to understand all of that and within this it answers a lot of the questions people will keep moaning about oh bitcoin's up why isn't argo up because it's not the same thing if you want to get the bitcoin gains buy bitcoin this is a company with investments in different companies in a new site there's loans there's debts there's different things that all need to be considered and that is why the two things will never correlate yes if bitcoin is up it'll drive or go up of course but you need to understand that plus with all the short sellers i've done a previous video go in you can watch all of that where i've, I've really tried to outline the things you need to consider when you're investing in Argo blockchain. But this, to me, is a great thing for the future. It always has been that way. Kind of a take a step back to go forward kind of situation. So hopefully now you can understand what, what is going on with the Pluto partnership. There's a lot of information out there. I appreciate I'm just trying to cram this in. But in summary, I think this is a good hedge for Argo blockchain. I think this whole Pluto thing could be really a dark horse. I don't necessarily believe it's really been priced in for any significant gains if anything potentially hurting the stock a bit because of what i said but going forward just like argo blockchain just like with the pilot plant you've got to give this time these are all things these are all seeds planted and if this thing grows the way we think even if it grows to even half of what i hope it will be i think we're on to an absolute winner bitcoin's going to the moon it is all good you just got to give it time and that's that so if you do find the video for me please like subscribe i really do appreciate everyone helping me out especially on this one i put a, a considerable amount of time like i said months of sort of looking into this and just adding to it over the time so um i really appreciate anyone that can help me out there if you feel like you want to also support the channel there is free links down there for cryptocurrency free shares and also you can support me by buying a coffee for me i really appreciate everyone that's helping me out there recently as well um and until the next video i'll see you then Peace. yeah coincidence yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.